Hey there, this is Beneath from Bioinformatica. In this video, we are going to talk about what is bioinformatics. Watch the complete video to know why you should or shouldn't choose bioinformatics. So without further ado, let's get started. Aj Almighty Wikipedia says, The bioinformatics is the branch of science which deals with the development of methods and software tools to understand and study biological data. Basically bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field. That is, it deals with different disciplines like computer science, information engineering, biology, chemistry, mathematics, statistics, etc. to solve biological problems. Before we begin, let us understand some common confusions among students while choosing bioinformatics. Like I don't know how to use computers. I don't know biology. I have no idea on mathematics. I am just a biology student, etc. You do not need to worry about these as the sole purpose of learning is to learn new things. And not knowing something is not always bad. Aj, you can learn only those things which are required for this field more efficiently. Our mind is like a bucket of knowledge. You can more easily fill a bucket with something that is already empty rather than that of the bucket which is already full. Before you begin, let us try to understand what is the basic difference between the object of these two groups. In the first group, we are seeing a portable music player, a car, and a telephone. And in the second group, we have a modern iPod, a Tesla self-driving car, and a smartphone. The main difference is that the objects in the second group are equipped with computational capabilities. While serving the basic objectives, the introduction of computational power gave the objects of the second group more usability. Here in this case of this iPod, the songs are stored in a digital format so that it is capable to store far more high quality songs than that of the older counterpart. Self-driving cars are now reality by using state-of-the-art artificial intelligence and machine learning. And nothing to say about this jack of all trades. This is all because of the computational advancement. Bioinformatics tries to implement such computational approach to the field of biology. But first, let's see how bioinformatics differ from the conventional biology. With no offense to all these conventional biological fields and acknowledging the fact that without those bioinformatics is nothing. Now let us discuss some of the drawbacks of conventional methods. High resource requirement. Conventional fields generally requires a sophisticated lab to work in and may also need expensive utilities and model organisms. The experiments are generally long, delicate and sometimes risky to the researcher. Let's take example of drug discovery for a disease. Conventional way of drug discovery involves these steps. After disease identification, isolation of the protein takes about 2-5 to five years. Similarly, finding an effective drug also takes place 2-5 to five years. Lead optimization and preclinical testing combinedly takes about 3-6 to six years before human trial and drug approval. It also requires millions of fortune for the experiments and also poses health risks to the researchers. So basically, it is a lengthy, expensive and risky process with high failure rate. While in case of drug discovery using bioinformatics, almost all the steps are done in an in silico way or using computers, which itself cut the expenses of materials and other stuffs. And today computers are capable enough of conducting experiments within seconds, allowing generation after generation of experiments within small span of time. Isolation of disease causing proteins can be done by genomics, proteomics and biopharm. High throughput screening and virtual screening methods are also used. After that, combinatorial chemistry can generate a vast number of compatible drugs for the disease in a very small time. 
molecular modeling and molecular dynamics simulations can help to improve the drug activity for a more accurate result. A preclinical testing also can be done on a virtual model organism without harming any real test organism. Bioinformatics basically allowed to produce an effective drug in a small period of time without much expenses and with greater accuracy. And the best thing is, you can do all these stuff in your computer even while enjoying the view sitting in a beach. Now, let's talk what bioinformatics actually is. In 1799, some French army engineers who at the part of Napoleon Bonaparte's Egypt campaign discovered the stone slab containing hieroglyphics while making repairs to a pot near the town of Rashid or Rosetta. But why this stone is so special and of such great importance? As there were lots of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics that were already discovered previous to that. The reason behind this is within the hieroglyphics of the Rosetta stone. The stone contained encryption in Greek along with the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics using which researchers were able to crack the code of ancient Egyptian writing system which at that time remained silent for millennia. Similarly, every one of us have a book of fate of our own. Everything about us is already written in that book, whether that may be our gender, the height up to which we can grow, what skin color do we have, which diseases we are immune to and which diseases we are susceptible to, everything about us. This book is our genome or the DNA. We discovered the DNA more than 150 years ago. We know that it is made up of nucleotide-based sequences and it is huge. That is, human genome contains approximately 3 billion base pairs within it. Still, we don't know how to read the meaning of it, how to decode the genetic code the hugeness of the genome also made this almost impossible to understand it completely. But this is until the last decade. Like the Rochester Stone of Biology, the bioinformatics defying the impossible, utilizing the advanced computational technologies along with mathematical and statistical methods. This opened a way to understand the genetic code properly. But now the bioinformatics is not limited to that goal only. With ever increasing computational power and implementation of other new technologies like machine learning, artificial intelligence and molecular dynamic simulation etc. opened new ways of defining the biology. It can certainly capable of changing the perspective to the word biology for us. What can you do with bioinformatics? Bioinformatics is basically the process of collection, classification, storage and analysis of biochemical and biological information using computers. In the beginning, the use of bioinformatics was only limited to the field of genomics. But during the course of the time, the discipline evolved itself and now deals with the numerous fascinating fields along with the conventional one. Some of them are like sequencing, drug discovery, personalized drug designing, artificial intelligence and machine learning in biology. Let's talk about the personalized drug designing. From the beginning of civilization, we use drugs to cure diseases. Conventionally, a single drug for a particular disease is administrated to everyone, even knowing that fact that the body of every single individual responds differently for the same drug. It may surely cure the targeted disease but may also induce side reaction in the body of the individual. Now somewhat personalized drugs are used. That is also according to the compatibility of the body to the individual drug. But that is not actually the true personalization of the medicine. Bioinformatics can take the concept of personalized medicine to a whole new level. The personalization can be made up to a genetic level. That is, a drug can be prepared for a particular individual and that doesn't have any side effect on that person. This is just an example. 
आज इट इज अ रिलेटिवली यंगर फील्ड द अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड पोटेंशियल्स आर वास्ट नाउ नॉट इवन द स्काई इज द लिमिट एनी मोर सो नाउ शुड यू चूज बाय इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स Yes of course you should Is it complicated or hard Yes aaj it is an interdisciplinary branch it needs relatively more efforts to put Can you do it Of course you can If you enjoyed this video please do consider subscribing please like the video and comment what you think about us And as always thanks for watching